Hey, Chris Horrocks here with AfterburnerStoves.com. Today's video is about cooking chili in a survival scenario with your Stove Tech Rocket Stove. Have a look. All right, guys, about to make some chili. <clears throat> now, when I make chili, I like to use chilies. <laughs> These are dried ancho chilies, and they come in different shapes, but it's an ancho chili, and it provides awesome flavor for a chili powder, um, but you don't get a lot of heat. So then, I add some dried hot chilies, and it doesn't matter if they're Mexican or Asian or whatever kind of chili, they all came from South America to begin with. They were just traded all around the world and became part of our cuisine throughout the world. But they all come from South America. But the idea is, the chili pepper is what chili is all about. And even if I buy a canned chili, even if I buy a brand of canned chili that I really like, it still doesn't have enough chili. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I like the spice to be from top to bottom, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so I grind these up. And there's a couple different ways that I do it. Let me show you. Okay, so this is a coffee grinder. Now, I don't drink coffee, but I grind spices. It works for that job, too. It's from Krupps. I buy mine on Amazon.com for 20 bucks. Uh, they do break. You can see cracks in this plastic lid and uh, so I'll have to replace it at some point and then it has blades inside that's been very very fast in fact you can grind those chilies the anchos and the hot chili peppers up in under a minute like way under a minute uh, 30 40 50 seconds at most um, into a chili powder that's homemade you can throw your powdered garlic your salt uh, a little cumin in there uh, all at the same time and then just dump it in your pot It's your very own customized spice blend and that's what I do yes I buy chili powder that has the garlic and the cumin and the chilies and all that stuff in it but you're paying somebody else to do your grinding for you and you're getting their recipe and once spices are ground they start to degrade in flavor so you really get improved flavor when you grind them fresh yourself that's what I like to do and uh, this is the way I like to do it because there's very little labor involved. But let me show you my backup plan for when the grid goes down. Okay, so you can use the Krupps coffee grinder to make your custom blends of spices and, uh, and chili, chili uh, ground chilies for chili powder. You can also use your Y2K compliant EMP proof granite mortar and pestle. A <laughs> little more labor intensive, but it does the trick. And it's quite fun and a little bit therapeutic. Uh, I was going to say, you just watch your favorite television show like The Walking Dead or something and grind spices. Problem, you won't have The Walking Dead when The Walking Dead are actually walking. So, what you're going to do is grind spices while you're on lookout. Okay, so that's, what, that's, that's the way we roll, right? Now, let me show you what that Krupps coffee grinder does with those chilies. <clears throat> okay see the powder nice chili powder homemade you saw the ingredients now normally with the ancho chilies it's way darker than this but i left the seeds in which makes it hotter but also because the seeds are white it makes it more pale so your chili powder doesn't have the deep, deep red. Normally it's about the color of ketchup when you just use the ancho chilies without the seeds. Anyway, that's my chili powder made in my Krupps coffee grinder. Um, Amazon, 20 bucks. Um, granite, mortar, and pestle. Amazon, can't remember the price, but it's pretty reasonable. Big chunk of granite does the job. We've made everything in these. A lot of people make guacamole and stuff. Not my thing, but uh, I make all sorts of uh, spice blends in the mortar and pestle. Anyway, let's show you how to make that chili. Okay guys, for the chili we're gonna make, we're gonna be using relatively little bit of fuel. You see we got the stick we have on the far side, the shorter one is a little bit thicker, and then we got a long thin one. It'll be roughly that amount of wood throughout the operation, which will actually only take a few minutes. And I'll edit it down so you don't have to watch all the boring stuff like, you know, the in-between steps. Start with a pot. 
All right, in this case, I'm using canned chili. You could, of course, be using freeze dried or homemade. Doesn't really matter. The idea here is we're just going to heat it up, okay, and uh, season it. Because even though it's canned and it theoretically already has, you know, spices and garlic and chili powder, <laughs> yeah. I don't buy that for a minute because when I eat canned chili, it is bland by my standards. And since I'm eating it, my standards are the ones that count. So, homemade chili powder uh, that you saw the ingredients for going in. Yes, all of it. Five peppers worth, two ancho chilies and three hot, I think Thai chilies or something, really hot ones, because uh, that's what I like. And of course I do everything to taste. So when this gets warm, I'll taste it. And if it needs, you know, a little more heat or something, then I always have either more chili peppers that I can grind or some really hot Indian chili powder. Uh, mine is from Nirav. And uh, it's really, really hot, so a little goes a long way. That's why I like it, because it's for adding heat, not flavor. The ancho chilies really give it the flavor. Uh, the yummy chili flavor and you can see all the dark specks in the chili i don't know if the camera picks that up but uh they are those ancho chili specks and they're yummy okay so then i do a little garlic powder i pretty much like garlic in everything uh, other than ice cream and uh what can i say <laughs> onion powder garlic powder by the way, you can just mash up onions, dehydrated onions and garlic that you do at home. You could do with your mortar and pestle. And that's, uh, that's always a good time. Just blend it in there. And then we're just waiting for it to heat up. We feed our sticks in every few minutes when it, as they burn down, keep the fire going. And that's really all there is to it, uh, seasoning your stuff while it cooks on your stove tech rocket stove. It'd be easy to speed the process up, just use more wood. Uh, you certainly don't have to do that though because the speed it goes at, it only takes a few minutes anyway. Salt to taste. You should eat as much salt as your taste buds want because your taste buds can tr are, are calibrated by your nutrient needs at the time. Just like your thirst is. So when water tastes good, drink it. When salt tastes good, eat it. When it doesn't taste good, don't. When you're not thirsty, don't. It's very simple. God knew what he was doing when he designed you. Okay, chili's hot, bubbling, ready to eat. Again, if you're in a scenario where you have to sanitize, you might cook it longer. But if you're eating canned food, it was sterilized when it was canned, and so you're good to go once it's warm enough to eat. And that is chili, <laughs> the Chris Horrocks from AfterburnerStoves.com way on the Stove Tech Rocket Stove. Have a good one.